Alrighty then. Hello there, Internet. This is Matt Attack coming back with uh, lesson four of how to script for Command and Conquer uh, CNC 95, Tiberian Dawn, whatever you want to call it. Um, I actually once did something different. I lowered my resolution this time, so things might be a little bit easier to see. At least for me, I need freaking glasses. Um, but I've gone ahead and done something right away here. Preemptively, I, I made the uh, reinforcements border on the west edge of the map with that little gap there so that's where the reinforcements will come through and uh, let me go ahead and set bad guy to west and I'm gonna work on a couple things here uh, the first primary goal is uh, the destroyed triggers and kind of how they work a little bit and then uh, I wanted to show how to do an APC with an engineer attack, whatever you want to call it, engineer rush. And then I'm actually going to do a little experiment here myself on force move. I think I understand that one a little bit better than some of those other ticks on the side. Um, and then maybe if we're feeling fancy, even uh, number of buildings destroyed trigger. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is, uh, okay. Bad guy. Oh, wait, I'm going to make some triggers. Okay. Boy, not used to this resolution. The first one is going to be destroy zero. Cause destroyed. Event. Reinforce. Side none. Destroy triggers are always none. Okay? Boom. Loop zero. Oh boy, I guess I need to make a team type, huh? Oop. That's left over there. Okay. So we're going to do APC1. It's going to be a bad guy. We'll leave it at seven and see how this uh, goes here. And it's going to be an APC1 with five engineers in it. Okay, and we'll put these waypoints in in a minute. It's going to move to zero, move to one, unload at one, and then attack base 30. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Oh, and here we're going to do force move. Uh, I rarely use the seven, so We'll see if it works like I think it should, but force move, uh, the teams tend to respond way less to your attacks. They have a single-minded purpose of reaching their, oops, almost forgot to hit insert, of reaching their waypoints and their goal. They won't stop along the way to return fire. They're on a mission. They are forced to move. Okay, so let's do that. All right. So we need to put in our waypoints, and I want to give them a little base to attack. Oops, so we're selecting that. Oh, see, I selected after the fact, it got rid of my name, so destroy zero. Loop zero, that's why I put zero there under the destroy. Okay, make sure that didn't, okay. So we need waypoint zero, waypoint one, and that's where they're going to unload and attack the base. So let's put a bunch of structures there for us uh, to have t uh, captured. Nothing too important. And again, they're going to go for, you'll see, they'll go for the northernmost stuff first. And we're going to need a ton of these because there will be a whole lot of engineers coming. And then. Alrighty, so da, 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 da. that's what we need for that. Okay, now we're going to attach that trigger to some stuff. Okay, well, we'll do SAM sites, whatever. Let's 
copy that. using my control C and control V there. Okay, now we're going to make another trigger. I'll set down three more SAMs here. This will be one, so I'll make it in the shape of a one. And this will be destroy one. Remember, only four characters there. Destroyed, reinforce, oh. I think I remembered to type it in because now it won't erase my destroyed one there. Okay, again, always none on the destroy trigger. And uh, if you're using that old version of XCC, using none crashes stuff, so save a lot. You got to go in and uh, edit a lot of stuff in the INI file. But, anyways, here we go. This is loop one. This is often what is used for uh, in GDI missions, uh, getting the airstrike. Of course, in that case, it would be uh, airstrike, and there would be no team there. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you know what the heck? We'll just do that airstrike, and we'll erase that. Okay. So let's attach that trigger to these three. Sam's here. Okay. Now, let's take it up a notch. This one's rarely used, really. And this is with the two at the end. Oh, let me slick because we're going to have this team. I'm going to be swimming in engineers here. Destroy two. Destroyed. Reinforce none. It'll be reinforced. Bad guy will be reinforced at APC one. And we'll put that on two. Now, let me go over how these work. The first one that ends in zero. Oh wait, hold on, let me attach these first. Eh, this will kind of be shaped like a two, I don't know. Okay. These ones right here, they end in a zero. Just destroying one of them one of the three will bring the APC in. You destroy the first one, the other two will do nothing. Destroyed ending in a one. Destroying all three of these objects will activate the trigger. In this case, the airstrike. Destroyed ending in a two. That means every single one of these. Destroy this one, you get an APC. Destroy this one, you get an APC. Destroy this one, you get an APC. Okay. And, well, let's put uh, let's put some guys down right now. Because, um, first of all, if we don't have any men where these structures are, they'll be under the shroud. Structures do not reveal the shroud. Let's give ourselves like 15 million commandos to blow up all those SAM sites. And I'm going to give myself some Humvees because I'm kind of curious about some stuff with this force move with the, the UI number set to 7. Alright, there we go. Now, that seems all in order. One last thing I'm going to do, just for my own shits and giggles. Let me just double check this team. Okay. Oops. I'm going to make a new one that's exactly the same. APC2. <coughs> and this will be bad guy. APC. Engineers. Five. He's going to move to zero. 
move to one, unload at one, attack base for 30. Okay. Now, notice we have nine SAMs there, right? I'm going to put one more down. Why not make it something else? Hey, what the heck, we'll make it a Temple of Nod. So now we have 10 structures, okay? I'm going to make a trigger. We'll call this, what are we going to call it? Numb. For number, but whatever, okay. Number of buildings destroyed. That, I love it. Okay, what's going to happen? Oh, forgot to put my team type in first. Good thing I know it's simple APC2. It's going to reinforce APC2. This is a, an instance where side definitely matters. Whose buildings we destroyed? Bad guys. This is another instance where the count matters as well. Ten buildings destroyed. That'll be our three sets of three SAMs and the Temple of Nod. Uh, only loop in zero. I know if you do units destroyed, number of units destroyed, and try to loop it with a weird number, all kinds of crazy shit happens. Unfortunately, I wish you could make it something happen every 10 units killed, but you just can't. Uh, with a looping trigger, at least. So that looks good. Okay. Gonna reinforce our APC2. I think that's everything I wanted to cover. Let me just check my little list here. I'll put my waypoint 26 here. So we start there. And did I make everybody's sides west? I mean bad guys' sides west? Yes, okay. Alright, let's... Uh, let's lesson 4. Save it as. Oh my god, those icons are huge. And we'll just keep saving it there for now. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Let's take this baby for a spin. Okay, and I can chill out because it's all is depending on me. I don't have to wait on the enemy to do anything. It's all at my leisure. So I'll speed it up a little bit. Okay, let's group these guys. So I want them to mess with oh, half over here, half over here. Okay, now this is trigger zero. Destroyed with a loop of zero, I mean. Let's send some commandos down there. No, I should have made landmarks on the map, but I think our enemy reinforcements are going to come in about there. Let me move that APC over a little bit. Watch, we're just going to destroy one of these bad boys, and the APC is going to come in. I've got a present for you. Right? Oh, there we go. Let's see if they stop when he's fired upon. Oh no, he's got a man on a mission. Oh, stupid APC. Why aren't you unloading all all of your engineers? Oh well, let's just kill you. A bunch of engineers will fly out. Huh. See, I noticed the number... That's probably because it was set to U1 of uh, the number 7. They use 15 a lot more in the missions, okay? But, see, this is still... These two SAMs here still have the destroyed with a loop of 0. Nothing's gonna happen. See? Because it only that, that trio of Sam's the trigger is only gonna be set off once. Ooh, there's our Temple of Nod. Okay, not there yet. Now, here is the much in the style of the game where they do the airstrikes. We gotta destroy all three of these Sam's and we'll be given an airstrike. And had I elected to, it would have taken all three to... Oh, see? Airstrike ready. It would have taken all three 
to have one APC come out of there if we had gone that route. No now, this is where the fun begins. Each one of these, this is destroyed with the trigger set, uh, excuse me, the loop set as two. Each one of these is going to reinforce an APC. So come on, come let's just have some fun. Yeah, I should have set that those U1 numbers to 15, but you get the point. They didn't stop when I was firing upon them. Now, they only got confused when they got up here. Remember our last trigger. So far, we've destroyed nine enemy buildings. This will be building number 10. We'll get one more APC that does not have force move on. Let's see. Oh, let's have one measly airstrike just for fun. Even though now I think about it, I'm blowing it up with commandos anyways. Who cares? I love airstrikes. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Let's see if this guy gets confused. See? NGs. I always do force move. And uh, you notice how we blew up the 10th building that had bad guy as the trigger owner, or whatever you want to call it. Um... Yeah, heck, uh, I'm going to go back and set him to 15 and see if uh, I have more luck with that engineer rush. Uh, this is an instance where the U1 number does matter. I, I kind of always hated 7. It's real sketchy. I like teams that do exactly what I want them to do. I hope that was helpful and informative. Have a nice day.